We are very fortunate in Minnesota to be rich in surface and groundwater resources. Because most of our water originates in the state, our actions impact how clean or contaminated our water resources become. 75% of Minnesotans rely on groundwater every day to supply all of their water needs. But this incredible resource is vulnerable to pollution. Keeping our drinking water clean is crucial for our health and peace of mind. While groundwater can be polluted by a single commercial or industrial source, it can also be polluted by our collective actions. Some pollutants are harmful to human, animal, and ecosystem health, even at small concentrations. But other pollutants, like fertilizer, that are less harmful in low doses, can make water unsafe if they build up. When it rains, water picks up pollutants that are on the surface and buried underground. As this water soaks into the ground, it can carry pollution into our groundwater supplies. Spread across an entire landscape, many small sources of pollution can add up over time to make our groundwater so polluted that it requires special treatment. Preventing this kind of pollution requires cooperation from us all. When pollutants reach the water table, they move based on the direction of groundwater flow and their unique chemical properties. Some pollutants dissolve while others may float or sink. Believe it or not, even the wells we use to access our groundwater can have an impact on how pollution moves underground. In Minnesota, there are over a half million wells piercing the landscape. When old wells break down, pollution in shallow aquifers can travel into deeper groundwater supplies that would have been protected. When we pump water from our wells, it creates suction, like a vacuum cleaner. This can pull nearby pollution into the well or down into a deeper aquifer. City wells can pull pollution from farther away because they pump a large amount of water. Groundwater contamination is difficult to track and often goes unnoticed, especially in private wells that don't undergo the same thorough testing as city wells. If contamination is discovered in a well, the water should be pumped and treated until it is safe to drink. The treatment process is complicated, expensive, and depletes groundwater resources. Treating contaminated groundwater can cost 10 times as much as preventing contamination in the first place. Other options to address well water contamination include drilling a new well or diluting contaminated water with clean water. Regardless of the approach, your city will act to ensure the water you drink is safe. If you have a private well, you should test your water yearly for contamination. This is especially important if infants, the elderly, or people with health conditions drink your water. If contaminated, a home water treatment system can usually remove most pollutants. However, because treatment is so expensive, it's better for everyone if we prevent pollution in the first place. Whether you have a private well or are on city water, everyone has a role to play in preventing contamination from getting into our groundwater. If you have a well that you no longer use, it is important to have it sealed by a licensed contractor with a special concrete mix so it doesn't become a pathway for pollution. Property owners are responsible if contamination occurs due to their unsealed well. At work and home, we can be careful to properly handle and dispose of hazardous waste, use environmentally friendly household cleaners, sweep up and reuse excess de-icing salt, and keep vehicles well-maintained. Even small, everyday actions go a long way, like picking up after pets, mulch mowing leaves and grass clippings to reduce fertilizer use, and hand pulling weeds instead of using weed killer. Always be careful about what gets flushed down the drain. Even common household items like unused medication, antibacterial soaps, and single-use wipes can cause damage to your septic system or city sewer and contaminate groundwater or nearby water bodies. Proper disposal of household items, along with septic system inspections at least every three years and regular maintenance, will ensure your septic system is functioning as it should. In agricultural areas, precision agriculture and no-till farming practices can reduce fertilizer and pesticide use. Proper containment of livestock waste can prevent it from leaching into groundwater, and buffers around fields can help filter water. Everyone has the responsibility to stop contamination from getting into our groundwater. When we work together to prevent pollution, we can ensure clean drinking water now and for many generations to come.